Hello friends, I am Jitinder Pal Singh and you are watching WordPress tutorial series in English language. In the last video, I have explained you about the user section and in this video, I will tell you about tools section. So under tools section, we have three options, available tools, import and export. When you will click on available tools, then you will see this page. On this page, you will see that tools which are available by default in WordPress. Here you can see first one is press this and second is open press this. If you will scroll down then you will see another tools that is categories and tags converter. So let's learn about press this tool first. Generally we use this tool when we liked something on a website and want to use that post in our website. So by this tool we can simply do that. We will drag this bookmarklet to the bookmark bar on my browser and then when you will be on a page you want to share, you will simply click on press this button. That's it. So let's see how to use it. Just drag and drop it on a bookmark of your browser like this. Now it has been saved as a bookmark on your browser. So to show you practically, I am sharing my one YouTube video by press this button. So this is my YouTube channel JP web and let's suppose I want to share this video. So I'm clicking on this video and then clicking on press this. It depends on your internet speed that when it will load this page. So here you can see my video with the title. In WordPress we have two editor visual and text. Let me click on visual. So here you can see view of my video with title. Then click on this publish button. So here you can see my this post has been published on my website. Now let me show you on my website because that was just a preview. So here you can see in recent post I have that video with the title. Click here. So here you can see title of my video and here's the video. So I can watch this video full screen as well. By clicking on escape button from keyboard, you can exit from that video. So let's get back to the admin panel. So I hope after this explanation you came to know about how to use press this in WordPress. So after that we have open press this tool. The working of this tool is also similar to press this. The only difference is that we can use this open press this tool in mobiles. Rest of the working is same like press this. So I'm not gonna explain this. So next we have categories and tags converter. You can use this tool if you want to convert your categories to tags or tags to categories. So if you want to use this tool, then you can click here or you will get this link under import also. Here it is categories and tags converter. So I'm clicking here. So to use that tool, we have to install this plugin first. So click on install now. Then click on activate plugin. So here you can see the first option we have categories to tags and tags to categories means what you want to convert categories to tags or tags to categories. So I'm clicking on categories to tags option. So here you can see we have a list of categories which are created by me in my website. You can select the categories that you want to convert or you can check all from this option. So if I will click on this convert categories to tags, then all categories of my website will be converted to tags. So I'm not gonna click on this option because I don't want to convert it. I was just explaining you about this option. So I have explained you about all the tools which are under link available tools. Press this, open press this and 
category is tax converter now let's move to the import section so on this page you can see a message on the top that is wordpress can import post or comments which are in another system so to import the content of your website from another system you have these options you can import from the blogger live journal rss tumblr and many more but 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 i am telling you about the wordpress so i will tell you how to import your data through wordpress so i will open my website in a local host and i will export some data from there and then i will import that data into this website so basically this import and export option are very clear with their names which are useful to import data from another website or export some data from this website to another so let's open one another website on local host So I am successfully logged into my another website on localhost. So I am clicking on export to export some data. So from this page, it will ask you that what you want to export. All content, only the post, pages only, or the media. So you can select according to your choice. But I want to export only the post of this website. So I have selected the post option only. and now i am clicking on download export file so the downloaded file will be in xml format let's open this folder now i will import this file under this website so before import i want to show you a list of post which are already available so here you can see in this list we have seven post now let's see on another website from where i have exported so here we have this list with a total 8 post so now i am importing these post in this website so now let's import that from tools select import and then click here on wordpress so we have to install this plugin that is wordpress importer so click on install now After successful installation click on activate plugin Now click on import option again Now click on WordPress Now here you can see now it will not ask you to install that plugin because we have already installed that So select the file which you have exported So double click to import this file and then finally click on upload file and import button. Then you will see this message on your screen assign authors. So from here if you want to assign these post to a author then you can select that author. But I am directly clicking on submit button. So here all done. Means your post has been imported. So let's click on all post to see that. So here you can see these post has been imported. Let me show you on another site from where we have exported. Here you can see the first post is this is direct link which is here. Second this is for test here. The third one tutorial about WordPress. here it is author's first post and tutorials on html and here you can see means all post of this website has been successfully imported to this website so i hope that i have explained all these options which are under tools section available tools import and export so this video was related to tools sections As you are learning about complete WordPress tutorial series so I want to tell you that in the next video I will explain you about the settings section which will be the last video of this video tutorial series
so stay tuned if you like this video then please put like on youtube and also subscribe to my channel to get notified about my upcoming videos so thanks for watching this video please like it comment on it and share it with your friends we'll see you in the next video take care